All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to a new video. Now, you know, I'm trying to upload a bit more since, you know, I am just came back from the big break I've had. So today, I want to do something a little bit different. Today, we're going to be making a thumbnail. More specifically, a multi-melee thumbnail. This will be one matchup as well, you know, why not, right? <laughs> so today, we're going to be making a thumbnail. Now, I'm making this because not a lot of people really know how to make a, like a thumbnail. And it's very difficult for like new people. But now I, I, I guess I kind of know. So I guess that's cool. <laughs> First, you need your little divider thing right here. Now, I might make a logo tutorial in the layer feature. But for right now, we're just going to keep it like this. You can use a death battle one, a right rumble one, whatever. I'll put some in the description below. Next up, you need obviously your characters. Now, what I use for characters sometimes is I just go to... Uh, uh, Death Battle Discord because the Death Battle Discord actually has like a lot of uh, like renders and cool and stuff like that. So um, we're gonna borrow this one real fast. You can just copy image. I don't really save renders all that much for some reason because I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, so now we have our thumbnail here. So oh yeah, also paint on it is free. So there's like literally no excuse. They, like in the comments, someone says like, "Oh yeah, but I can't afford paint on net, but but paint on net's free." So there's like literally no excuse. You want to make sure that you fill in space as much as possible, as um, leaving white space like this is just really bad. Unless you have like something in the background you really want to show, like say for example, I was doing JoJo and like I this say for example this is Jotaro. And I shorten him down and then would add a stand behind him if you want to do that then you can just do this and then we're just gonna paste this for example <laughs> yes the the dual stand <laughs> um, and then yeah so you can do something like that if you're going if you like you have like two separate characters or like one character with like a big transformation that you want to add in like Goku with MUI I've done that before um, for quite a long time, so just yeah, because I think it's cool. So let me set this back up to here, like this. But if you have a singular render, you want to keep it like this. Um, especially since this is more so in the face and not like showing like any like like the rest of the body, it's just the face. So, all right. So let me get Gojo now. Um, let me see. Uh, Actually, all right. So my friend sent me a render of Gojo. I couldn't really show because it's our private DMs. So anyway, there we go. You want to make sure it aligns correctly, and boom, you should have something like this, which is pretty cool. You know, it looks pretty nice right about now. But you have something missing. There, there needs to be a background here. Come on, you don't want just a transparent background like this. So now you look up backgrounds. So um, uh, let me see. So I guess something like a Jujutsu Kaisen background. I put K two times. You can use the backgrounds. Oh, I, I I probably should say I don't know if this is gonna be spoilers or not, but um, I don't know. <laughs> So let me look up space because, you know, Gojo's domain expansion is, you know, infinity, which is basically like kind of like, it just represents space a little bit. So I guess something like space would represent it the, the best. All right, so I'm going to go back here. Let's see. Uh, then you can just fill it in. You can do it on Gojo's side, just like, just Gojo's side, well, Kisuke, we can do something like, because the renders already fill up most of the background, so like, you don't really need a background, you just need to fill in those little blank spots here and there. So, and then I guess I'll do Kisuke Shop, because, you know, I mean, Kisuke Shop, why not, right? <laughs> yeah, the Urahara Shop, nice. Paste. Um, and then... And then there we go. And that's basically it. Now, next thing you want to do 
it, it, well, you can keep it like this. So this thumbnail already looks pretty much okay. Um, but if you want, then you can add a little bit of effects. So first, we're gonna add a drop shadow just to make the characters pop a little bit. So I don't know if this is like you. Oh yeah, so this is a plugin, so you can just look it up and download it yourself. But if you don't want to download it, let me see. Oh yeah, outline. -ish. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to download it because drop shadow is very important for thumbnails. Um, I'd say because like drop shadow makes like your characters pop. I'd say so something like. Something like that. There, let me see for Gojo. There we go. But the problem is, there's not one on the right side. So let me, in fact, let me just fix that, like so. There we go, and there we go. So now we have a little bit of a drop shadow. Now next up we want to add a little flare. So first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate it like so. You want to press overlay, and it's going to look a bit weird, but that's the point, right? Then you want to go into Gaussian Blur. Now this op this comes with Paint.net, so uh, I more like this for most of my thumbnails, and then I more like just do this for most of my thumbnails. Because uh, it makes it pop out a little bit more, makes it look a bit prettier. So then you want to just move it up, and it's gonna have this really cool effect. It looks really nice. Um, you can just put it up to your heart's content. I don't know. Just I just do some I just do something until like it just shows. I guess I don't know. Oops. Okay, I forgot to put on overlay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always gotta remember to put an overlay, otherwise it's gonna screw her up. There we go, and uh, boom, we're done. It actually looks a little bit bright. I'm actually gonna gonna go over here and move it down just a bit. There you go. I'm actually gonna lower the opacity by just a bit. There we go, and there we have it. All right, thumbnail. Um, also, uh, this is kind of important. If you want to, like, make, let's say, for example, you messed up your characters and you want to move them around. If you move, try to move them around, we'll see. The little blur thing is, uh, is disconnected from, you know, Gojo over here. So, what you would have to do is you would have to get rid of this layer and then just move around Gojo however you like. And then you would, um, do the exact same thing. But that's pretty much it. That's how I make my thumbnails and the next and not the next round, but somewhere in the season, Gojo vs. Kisuke will happen. I don't know, it was just a fun matchup that I always wanted to animate ever since Jujutsu Kaisen came out as they seem like pretty similar characters and they all it just seemed pretty fun and the matchup is actually pretty fair. So uh keep the in out for the feature and that's but see ya.